right now we are in Germany after a very long drive and we are now standing on a balcony from a very huge abandoned creepy mansion hiding in the bush fans this mansion does me remind a little bit of the house from the game Resident Evil 7 you know creepy swan ever <laughs> actually they made but yo that uh, house was actually arranged but this is actually a big ass mansion it's all destroyed inside but I still wanted to show you this beautiful amount of mansion because of the creepy DK. There are everywhere demonic signs on the walls, like creepy shadow figure also on the freaking wall. This is a real sinister abandoned mansion fans, and I cannot wait to share this one with you. So I'm gonna do this before we go inside, I'm gonna do this smash a big ass like. We're gonna start from the bathrooms till the main floor. We're gonna do this quick because like I said, it isn't special but the DK is amazing especially the structure of the house and the house itself is amazing the mansion I mean but anyways yeah subscribe to my channel I should say let's do this fans all right we're gonna enter the house of doom why I keep saying this is actually a house, this is a mansion fam. So an inmate, it's a big ass house, otherwise mansion, creepy, creepy mansion. And we're gonna start from number one bathroom with a very scary <laughs> DK. I can tell you this right now. All right, check this out. I don't know why the heck this is hanging here like this, but the way it's hanging like this fam, this is like an like you see in horror movies actually see oh I thought I saw somebody but this I saw my reflection in the freaking mirror there you can see this is me it scared out of me actually but a lot of creepy ass grafting walls like the skull where there's taxes like soul you know I believe this mansion could be haunted it looks like it's haunted but don't ask me for any history I don't have a clue fans because I probably, this must be abandoned here for a very, very long time. But there's one here as the creepiest bathroom I ever saw in my life right now. Check this out. Damn. This mansion will be very amazing to make a horror movie, especially yeah, a haunted horror movie, you know, with ghosts and stuff like that. This really has a look like something evil is here right now you know let me know in the comments below what you think about this but it's very destroyed by vandals they can see super sad if this will be still filled with all the furniture this will be amazing actually this will be a very gold mine and the urbex community look at who's from outside it has an american design also, so check this out. Creepy quarters. I'm not gonna show you everything because it ain't that special. Only the scariest rooms I'm gonna show you, like this beautiful bathroom here right now with the green walls. Beautiful. Wow, this is amazing. The paint is amazing here. See. Look what a mess. All right, but <laughs> I think rich people lived here, something. Those are actually all wardrobes. You can see all the wardrobes, jackets and robes, you know, stuff like that, dresses also. It's a very big ass mansion man, 
but it's a shame that it's destroyed like this. All right, now there's actually a staircase here. It's also a beautiful staircase in marble, but I can see they also, yeah, removed all the marble and it's all standing here, like you can see. The tiles, you know, they broke out all the tiles. It's pretty sad. Look, another room here in green. But the door is like something standing. But... Oh, wow. Look, that's amazing. There's actually the only thing that is left behind here, and is this. Funny, huh? Such a big ass mansion. Thought about something. Which is also strange. It's all a number to see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20. 20, okay, that's the end. Let's check this. Creepy. Alright, I think this is it from upstairs. Alright, okay. But there's a lot of hiding rooms also. So right now we just entered the living area of our fans. I can tell you, this is gonna get a little bit more creepier, more demonic signs, you know, everywhere. Oops. But you really can freaky hurt your feet or something because they all broke out all the tiles and destroyed it also. But check this, there's actually something to sinister as well. Just just beginning right now, man. Creepy features. This goes in the basement, actually. I don't know which room this is. Looks special, actually. Alright, so this fans, this is the main living area here, which is also pretty beautiful, there is this room, it's like a sort of library here. Check this out, so dark, it smells weird also here, I can't describe the smell but it smells weird, you know. I don't like it. But the living area was pretty big, you can see. Look. This does remind of the horror movie lights out a little bit. I don't know which freaking symbol this is, but it looks sinister also. And here's actually a demonic sign, the devil, you know. Across, up, there, down. <laughs> Damn. This is nice. All right, another room full of amazing discoveries. This is completely surrounded by bushes, you know, and trees, a lot of trees. So we're gonna walk through the bush also, after I explore this, because I really want to show that, it's a very beautiful, I can tell you fans. And it has something like in the bridge, you know. This mansion does me in mind of a lot of horror movies I really like, like the lights out, you know. The bridge, the game Resident Evil, because that's how it looks similar like to Resident Evil. But yo, the nature you're gonna see is actually the garden of this mansion fans. It's a very large garden. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And I discovered also a sort of swimming pool also. It's amazing actually. All right, first the kitchen area. Look at this, kitchen area. 
all this right also. But like I said, I'm not going to show you everything. It's literally like a freaking construction site, but anyways, you saw the past part of this whole mansion. If it will be worth it, I will give you fans a lot of details about this mansion, but now, mm, I don't like it. Also, we check the basement. Nothing special, actually. Alright, I think we're done now. From that side. So maybe this will be a very short video. But you can trust my words. It ain't worth to show you everything time because I have a lot of places to do also here in Germany. Because now the first location of the day is still it's only like 11 a.m. in the morning. But now I'm gonna show you some nature quick. But the house from outside looks amazing as well, you can see. It's a very giant mansion. It's surrounded by many bushes and trees, like I said. Crazy, huh? I'm gonna show you the front side of the mansion right now, quick. We're probably gonna show you the, the back side. There's like some cages here, I don't know what the heck this is. There are some cages here or something, probably for animals they had. But a lot of thorns, like you see. I hate thorns. See, nothing special, you know. All right, check this out. Some sand. I don't know what I did. This looks like some hills. Check this out. How big this mansion is. At one point, it's very beautiful. It's sad from inside, actually. So right now it's time to walk through the bush and show you some beautiful nature and a lot of thorns. This road here has a lot of thorns. See? Thorns, thorns and more thorns. Ah, that hurts like crazy also. Especially with, if you're stuck with a t-shirt or freaking jeans or pants, you know. Oh. Stupid things. I hate those. Thorns. Another view from the mansion. The villa gang it says. Looks creepy. I think if you're gonna do this mansion at night, this will be yeah, haunted or something, I don't know. But creepy as well. Especially if you have to walk <laughs> through a long path of bush, you know? I can tell it's a very long path before we get even to the mansion. But here's actually simple, I just noticed. Oh, a pet, another pet, what? Oh, spider webs. Crazy. Alright. Check this. This was a freaking swimming pool, man. 
crazy. It's like a circle, you know? Amazing. So there's actually the mansion from the backside. Looks sick, huh? It's a very amazing place. At one point I enjoyed it, but another point was that it's actually pretty sad. The vandal destroyed it like crazy, I can see. They broke all the tiles out, you know. Smashed the windows in. Also the walls. Such a shame. If this will be very and still in good condition fams, this will be a very good mine in the Rubik's community. Especially when it will be all filled with a lot of Now let's take you with me to a walk through the bush. Check this out, how beautiful this is, fams. I mean, have a look at the weather right now. Blue sky, the sun, cool. Huh? Some flowers here. I don't know which which type of flowers this is. Amazing. I hate those. <laughs> they hurt. Alright, so this is actually the part that reminds me a little bit of the Blair Witch project, you know? It was actually one of the scariest horror movies they ever made. They have two more movies of it. The first one is uh, like, I think they actually made the first one in the years of the 80s, probably. If I'm wrong, tell me, fans. But the last one is actually, the newer one is actually made in 2016. And yes, I saw that in the freaky cinema, and I can tell you it was pretty intense to see that horror movie, I freaking love the Blair Witch Project. I'm wondering where the heck the Blair Witch Forest is actually, and if that will be true. Maybe it's true that the witch lives there or something? Crazy shit happens everywhere, I think. Look at the trees. Some rare really symbols on it. The trees look creepy also. Nice. Crazy. You just heard a tack or something breaking. It's like someone is walking or something. I don't know. Or animal. Alright, almost at my car. We actually finished this one now, fams. I'm glad we actually did this. At one point I won't record it, but at another point, yeah, it looks stunning. And it was all beautiful mansions like that, especially from outside, but inside was like shit. But with the demonic signs and stuff like that, it makes it creepy. Especially the bathrooms you saw at the first floor when I was at the balcony. Alright. Oh shit. Just heard some footsteps behind me. Anyways, I'm, I'm done. Okay. Now at my car. I'm finished with this one, fams. So yeah, maybe this wasn't a long adventure, but it was kick-ass, right? So if you enjoyed this one, smash a big ass like, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more about the places in the future. And yeah, fans, it's your boy Jeffrey from the City's World, and I will see you another one. Peace.